Welcome to episode 9 of Price Action Trading Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to recognize a base for various types of zones. In the previous episodes, we have learned about extremes which is called valleys and peaks as well as continuation patterns and gaps. All these formations have a base or price action in common. Furthermore, it is important not to confuse candlestick patterns with a continuation pattern. The former is a Japanese price action formation. The latter is an expression mostly used in the supply and demand strategy. As CP is made of Japanese candle pattern, if you are using candlestick charts, all the formations will actually be made of them. Once you are able to recognize the price action properly, and if you are able to spot the valleys, peaks and continuation patterns, the next important aspect is to pay attention to drawing the zone. We have rules in place for drawing the zones. So let's discuss about zone drawing in detail in this episode and we will be focusing on recognizing a base in this episode. First of all, let's first define what a base is but also keep in mind that bases almost never present themselves as textbook structures. The following are the features we should be looking for when trying to locate a base or a pause in a market. A base can be made of 1. A single 50% candle, number 2. Up to 6 50% candles and not more. Number 3, a Morbuzu candle. This is a very rare formation, a tight base with no wicks or almost no wicks at all. There are a few different types of Morbuzu candles. Some Morbuzu candles will be really big and some will be very, very small. We will only take into consideration the small Morbuzu types for recognizing a base because a base is a pause in the market. So a very big candle cannot be considered as a pause. So we will not be considering it for a base. And number four, an engulfing pattern. But the first thing you want to do is to become an expert at locating a price action levels such as valleys, peaks, CPs and gaps on any price chart. It doesn't matter which time frame you choose since price is fractal. Whatever structures and patterns there are on a daily chart, you will find the same on other time frames. Some say that drawing levels correctly can be considered as an art. I don't agree with that. If you have rules that can be consistently and methodically applied the same way every single time, there should be no art in it. It just takes practice and a lot of screen time, so be patient. Your mind and eye needs training and a lot of screen time till it becomes the second nature to you. Now, a question. How far back in time do I need to go in order to find supply and demand levels? The answer is simple. Go as far as you need to. Go behind multiple hours, days, weeks, even months and even years. It depends on the time frame you are trading. Now, coming back to the old question, what are the different types of bases? Let's talk about the first one, a single 50% basing candle. Each candlestick is defined by open, close, low and high. If the number of ticks between open and close is 50% or smaller than the whole candle range, that is the distance from high to low, it will be considered as a basing candle or a pause. When the zone is composed by a single candle and not too wicky, it is advisable that we extend the drawing of the zone to cover the highs and lows. Price will often retest just the wicks and bounce off it without pulling back to the base. So this is an example for the first item. So we have just one single candle as a base. So when you draw a zone for this particular candle, you need to include highs and lows as well. So you need to be covering both the highs and lows because the price will be testing only that particular wick and it may not come to the body. So you need to draw the zone by covering the entire candle. That is a rule if you have just one single candle at the base. 
These 50% candles are automatically detected by ME broker basing candle indicator and a similar one is available in trading view as well. I have created a separate video on it. So please have a look at it. A colored red dot will be drawn in the middle of a 50% basing candle to distinguish it clearly from others. So if you look at the top right corner, you will find the link to that particular video and also to the ALF script. A single candle at a base are commonly seen in most CPs which is continuation pattern. So this is actually a continuation pattern and you are able to see a single basing candle in this CP. So this is the first item. Now the second item is up to 6 50% candles. So the second scenario is having multiple candles at the base but it cannot be higher than six candles this is the most common scenario we usually see a few basing candles forming a base because price creates the second leg out rules allow maximum of six candles at any base but you can stick to even four or five but the max you can go is six so when you draw a zone for this particular kind of scenario you need to ignore the wicks and you need to draw using the body but there are few minor uh, changes that you need to do which will be explained in detail in the forthcoming episodes so this is the second kind of base you can have multiple candles as your base but it cannot be higher than six candles now moving on the third item is morbuzu candles as mentioned earlier this is a very very rare scenario morbuzu candle pattern is a tight base candlestick with no wicks or almost no wicks at all so if you look at these two bases right this is a, actually a cp and actually this is actually two cps this is the first uh, cp and this one is your second cp you will understand this later once we cover the forthcoming episodes but for now uh, you can spot the two more candles here right so these candles doesn't have any wick at all so these candles can be used to draw the bases but as mentioned earlier there is an important note here about morbuzus we only use morbuzu candles that have a very small body and not big white or big black morbuzus with long candle bodies a long candle body will never be a pass in the market so use the logic here it will be an erc candle they are very strong bullish or bearish signal after a break of a higher time frame zone so you should never consider big candles as your base so in this case these two morbuzu candles the small morbuzu candles can be used for drawing the base and lastly engulfing patterns the bullish and bearish engulfing patterns are very common in CPs. They are high odds formation if they are momentum engulfing patterns and opposing imbalance is far away. So if you look at here, there is a bullish engulfing happening here. There is a bullish engulfing happening here. So in these kind of scenarios, you can use this engulf to draw a zone. This is actually a very, very common appearance in CP and it is actually a high odds formation. Now coming to the assignment part, open your chart and draw a rough zone using rectangle box like this for the four different types of bases that I have explained today and share the link in the comment section of this video. Hit the like button if you have learned something from this video. I request your feedback and queries about this episode. Please leave it down in the comment section. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Please share this video if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.